A many pets suffer injuries during the 4th of July holiday. With just a few simple steps, pet owners can ensure their pets are safe during Independence Day festivities. So joining us this morning, Dr. Christian Broadhurst with Clay Humane, and you brought sushi I on brought the sushi. show. Yeah, yep. because, well, we need an adorable factor. Absolutely. And, and sushi obviously could maybe get a little scared yeah, over the holidays, um, like all animals. Luckily, she's tough, but not all dogs are. A lot of dogs are very afraid of noise and bright lights and flashes, and so it can be a very dangerous time of year for on the 4th of July holiday. So your biggest advice is identification, right? Yes. Um, the, most likely, if your animal gets injured, she's gonna, he or she's going to be injured escaping from your house or yard because of the fear of the noise. Mm -hmm. And if she ends up with no identification, no microchip, um, you may never see her back. So it's, it's important to keep dogs either microchipped or tagged or ideally both. To avoid them even running and being scared in the first place. What do you do? I mean, do you keep them indoors? You should. A, a thunder blanket? Like, what do you... Absolutely. There's lots of things to do. Um, most importantly, give them a quiet place to go. A yeah. den of sorts. A crate with a big, thick blanket on top of it. In a room in the house, away from windows, away from the noise, away from a party if you're having people over. Yeah. And just turn on the radio, give them some white noise, just kind of some, some quiet, individual, peaceful time. Now, some dogs are so badly affected, they, they need medication. And if they do, seek your veterinarian before the 4th of July or before the 3rd as well. Because and it's not something to, late. yeah, exactly. It's not something to really experience, uh, experiment mm. with, correct? Because no. like my dog, um, like yours, is not very afraid. Lightning, thunder, all that stuff mm -hmm. doesn't bother her, but I would never bring her out to a fireworks show and try that. No, definitely. Because if you're in, if you're at a park yeah. in the middle of a fireworks show and your dog starts to have a panic attack or freaks out, you have very little choice, especially if they get away. I mean, right, if right. they break the leash, you know, get away from you, you, again, you may never see your dog again, and that's not what we want at all. Do you see, like, after 4th of July, Absol more pets in the Humane Society, whatnot, coming in because Absolutely. they've been found? And pets come in found, pets come in injured, yeah. jumping through windows, you know, jumping over fences, having lacerations and tears and bloody paw pads because, you know, it's, it's still hot out there, and if your yeah. dog is out for a couple days running the roads, it's, it's tough on them. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on. My One pleasure. other advice you, you mentioned on the break was try to keep alcohol away oh, from yeah, them, and that absolutely. sounds like a no-brainer, but... But believe it or not, it happens every stuff. year. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank for you. more information, go to clayhumane.org. Vic?